from uh, just give us your opinion on uh, financial statements read it yeah, as it is that's why i'm heading to section yes. one so section one the qualified opinion and i read i have audited the accompanying financial statement of the executive of the of the county executive of meru set out on page one to six to page 116 which comprises the statement of assets and liability as at 30th june 2018 and the statement of receipts and payments statement of cash flows and summary statement of appropriation for the year then added and a summary of significant account accounting policies and other explanatory information in accordance with the provision of article 229 of the constitution of kenya and section 35 of the public audit act 2015 i've obtained all the information and explanation which to the best of my knowledge and belief were necessary for the purpose of the audit in my opinion except for the effect of the matters described in the basis for qualified opinion section of my report. The financial statement present fairly in all material aspects. The financial position of the county executive of Meru as at 30th June 2018 and of its financial performance and its cash flows for the year then added in accordance with international public sector accounting standard <laughs> cash basis and comprised with the public finance Management Act 2012 and the County Government Act 2012. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, I'd like you just to skip over to your page 16 and also give us your conclusion on effectiveness. No, no, I think that's going one step ahead. There's a section on uh, lawfulness. Page 11. Yeah, give us your conclusion on report on lawfulness and effectiveness in use of public resources. Conclusion, as required by Article 229, sec Section 6 of the Constitution, based on the audit procedures performed, except for the matters described in the basis of conclusion of lawfulness and effectiveness in the use of public resources section of, of my report, I confirm that nothing else has come to my attention to cause me belief that public resources have not been applied roughly and in an effective way. And finally, your conclusion on effectiveness of internal controls, risk management, and governance. That's page 16. Conclusion. As required by section 7, subsection, subsection 1A of the Public Audit Act 2015, based on the audit procedures performed, except for the matters described in the basis of conclusion on the effectiveness of internal controls, risk management and governance section of my report, I confirm that nothing has come to my attention to cause me believe that internal controls, risk management, and overall governance were not effective. Thank you. Okay, so the report, as you had explained, broken in three financial statements. The auditor says that they are generally satisfied with some exceptions. If it was an unqualified opinion, then uh, we wouldn't even spend a lot of time. Our focus then would be on the exceptions that have been cited. But at the end of the day, we'll be asking ourselves, are those exceptions material enough even to put to doubt the conclusion uh, that the Auditor General has rendered uh, in, in his opinion? When it comes to lawfulness and effectiveness in use of public resources, the Auditor General says, generally is satisfied, but there are few exceptions. So we'll need to deal with them. On uh, internal controls, risk management, Auditor says, is generally satisfied. So I hope that uh, on the exceptions, the Senate shall also be satisfied so that we can say that uh, the billion sent to Meru in 2017-2018 has been used properly, it has gone to the public, and it has not gone into wasteful ventures. Before we now start uh, dealing with the uh, specific issues, there is an issue that was raised by the Auditor General that I've kept shelving, because I said it is in the substantive report. That is um, an issue on page 12 on presentation of financial statements. I looked at it and I was worried that if you have flagged an issue on the manner in which the financial statements have been prepared, how then do you end up with a qualified opinion on the financial statements? May you read that and then the governor shall respond. And once we deal with that, we proceed with other issues. So this is page 12, uh, paragraph 2, presentation of financial statements. The International Public Sector Accounting Standard, cash basis, reporting template prescribed by the Public Sector Accounting Standard Board requires inclusion of the signatures and Institute of Certified Public Accountant, Kenya, that is his membership, 
number of the head of treasury accounts to be indicated in the financial statement. However, the head of treasury accounts of County Executive Omeru did not indicate his ISPAC membership.